So one cool thing with box shadows is if you give them no blur, but you come in with a spread, you can get something that looks a little bit like a border or looks exactly like a border, but it takes up no space unlike a border would. So it won't shift items around. So you do have to be careful. You might overlap stuff. Uh, you can see that's looking not too bad, but where this really can be cool for some fun effects is if you come in with multiple shadows. So let me add a few more here. And in doing that with multiple shadows on here, you can get this kind of fun effect. Just know that each spread here does need to be bigger than the last one because these are all overlapping each other. So if this first one was 50, it would just cover everything and you wouldn't see the ones behind it. So they do have to progressively get bigger to pull something like this off. And that has been your CSS tip of the day.